Chai Om Dishnipad, Padaman Shri Tad, Sharja, Ashko, Tamsatri, Shimad. A C Bhakti Vedanta Shami Miraj Prabhupa the Kita Iskan Sangstapaka Charja Shiva Prabhupa the Kita Anantakoti Boishna Prindakita Nama Charja Shiva Ridas Thakur Kita Prayam Sikaho Shikrishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda Sri Adwaita Gadadhar Shiva Shadi Gaur Bhakta Prindakita Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopinath Sham Gunadha Kunigidi Govardhan ki jay, Vrindavan Tham ki jay, Navadip Tham ki jay, Jagannath Puri ki jay, Ganga Mai ki jay, Jamana Mai ki jay, Tusi Devi ki jay, Bhakti Devi ki jay, Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda ki jay, All glories to the assembled of God. All glories to the assembled of God. All glories to the assembled of God. Go over Prem and Ande. Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Okay, we're Srimad Bhagavatam 1108. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya First of all, for the viewing audience, the sunglasses are not to cut a profile. They're to, they're prescribed for up, upcoming cataract surgery and also to provide images for my critics. <laughs> <laughs> Amantriya Amantriya Cha Bhyanu Gyata Cha Bhyanu Gyata Parishvajya Parishvajya Abhivadyatam Abhivadyatam Aruroha Aruroha Natam Natam Kaischit Kaischit Parishvakto Parishvakto Abhivadataha Abhivadataha Amantriya Chabya nu gata, Amantya Chabya nu gata, Padisvajya bivadyatam, Padisvajya bivadyatam, Aruroha ratam kaischit, Aruroha ratam kaischit, Padisvakto bivadataha, Padisvakto bivaditaha. Amantriya chabya nu gyata, Amantriya chabya nu gyata, Padisvajya bivadyatam, Padisvajya bivadyatam, Aruroha ratam kaischit, Aruroha ratam kaischit, Padisvakto bivadataha, Padisvakto bivadataha. Mantriya chabya nu gyata, Mantriya chabya nu gyata, Parishvajya vivadyatam, Parishvajya vivadyatam, Aruroha ratam kaischit, Aruroha ratam kaischit, Parishvakto vivadita, Parishvakto vivadita. Amantya chapya nu gyata, Amantya chapya nu gyata, Parishva chapya vajitam, Parishva chapya vajitam, Aruro hokatam kaschit, Aruro hokatam kaschit, Parishva to vajitaha, Parishva to vajitaha. Amantya chapya nu gyata, Parishvajya vivadyatam, Aruroha ratam kaischit, 
Amantriya, Amantriya, taking permission, taking permission, cha, cha, and, and, abhyanu gyataha, abhyanu gyataha, being permitted, being permitted, padisvajya, padisvajya, embracing, embracing, abhivadya, abhivadya, bowing down, bowing down, at the feet, at the feet, tam. Um, unto Maharaj Yudhishthir. Unto Maharaj Yudhishthir. Arugoha. Arugoha. Ascended. Ascended. Ratam. Ratam. The chariot. The chariot. Kaischit. Kaischit. By someone. By someone. Parishvattaha. Parishvattaha. Being embraced. Being embraced. Abhivadataha. Abhivadataha. Being offered obeisances. Being offered obeisances. Afterwards, when the Lord asked permission to depart, and the king gave it, the Lord offered his respects to Maharaj Yudhishthir by bowing down at his feet, and the king embraced him. After this, the Lord, being embraced by others and receiving their obeisances, got into his chariot. Purport. Maharaj Yudhishthir was the elder cousin of Lord Krishna, and therefore, while departing from him, the Lord bowed down at the king's feet. The king embraced him as a younger brother, although the king knew perfectly well that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. The Lord takes pleasure when some of his devotees accept him as less important in terms of love. No one is greater than or equal to the Lord, but he takes pleasure in being treated as younger than his devotees. These are all transcendental pastimes of the Lord. The impersonalist cannot enter into the supernatural roles played by the devotee of the Lord. Thereafter, Bhima and Arjun embraced the Lord because they were of the same age. But Nakula and Sahadev bowed down before the Lord because they were younger than he. Om Akanatiminantasya Gyananjana Sadakaya Chakshur Militam Jaina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhistam Stapitam Jaina Bhutale Shayam Rupa Kada Mayam Tadhati Sapadantikam Mande Han Shri Guru Shri Jatat Padakamalan Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raganatan Vitamstam Sajivam Sadvetam Savatutam Pradishana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakan Vitamsha E Krishna Karana Sindha Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kam Shanagaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshari Prashabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hodi Priye Vansha Kolpatarubhyascha Kripa Sindho Pyevacha Padita Nam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adwaita Gadadhar Shri Vashadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Dama Hare Dama 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 Hare Hare
a mantriya chabya nu gyata parishva jabi vadyatam arudo vatam kaischit parishvakto vivadata. These are the Lord's perfect dealings as a human being or in the role of a human being. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Asamordva. No one is equal to him, no one is greater than him. And yet he takes plays in different relationships so that he becomes subordinate to the king, subordinate to his uh, mothers, subordinate to Ugrasena in, in uh, his pastimes uh, as a king or as the the subject of the king. So this is Krishna. He's superior to everyone, but he enjoys uh, exchanging loving dealings with different devotees in different tastes. So some will play as superior, some will play as equal, some will play as uh, inferior. The we see the same behavior when the Lord entered, uh, enters Dwarka. He exchanges with all the devotees or all the citizens, just as it behooves, Prabhupada translates, uh, fittingly for each person according to their uh, position. Uh, before leaving Hastinapur also, he takes leave of Kunti Devi because she's his uh, uh, and so superior. The Vedic culture is uh, notably hierarchical. In the modern culture, we increasingly adopt a flat earth philosophy <laughs> where everyone is the same as everyone else, uh, radical egalitarianism. Uh, no one is better than, than anyone. Uh, Everyone's on the same level. Uh, children called parents by their first names. Um, everyone's just the same as everyone else. This is uncultured. In the earlier in American culture and still earlier in Vedic culture, there was consideration. What is my position in the pecking order? There was consideration. Now it's just consideration in business. Okay, this person's the boss, this person's the supervisor, this person's the clerk. But in ordinary social dealings also, uh, there's such consideration. Even in the Bible, honor thy mother and thy father. We hardly know what that means anymore. We hardly know what it means anymore. But in the uh, Vedic uh, culture, so much respect is given to the parents. The Even we see that Yudhisthira Maharaj, after Kurukshetra, every morning he would come and offer his respects to uh, Jhutarashtra and Gantari because they were his elder uh, father and mother, practically. They, Dhritarashtra was the brother of his father, Pandu, so he was considered to be on the level of the, of the brother. So every day he would come and offer respects. Offering respects means we touch the feet of the mother, touch the feet of the father. I interviewed one devotee in Delhi. He was a... Uh, engineer, uh, construction, uh, construction engineer, if I recall, and he was the son of a uh, big uh, businessman. His father had had the franchise for the Sylvania light bulb uh, business in India, and so he was telling me his story, how he um, worked. For, he went to school. Then he he worked in this business, his father's business. Then um, 
again in a different position in his father's business. And he said, and then when I was, I forget, 32 or something, my father gave me permission to start my own business. In America, we think, he gave you permission? Your father gave you permission? What is that? You want to start a business, you start a business. But this is culture that he wouldn't start a business without his father's permission. When his father gave permission, then he starts the business. There's a I was reading some time back a book about Saudi Arabia. At the time, at one time, Ibn Saud, of course, was the progenitor of the dynasty. He had so many sons, and one son at the time was the prime minister or the king. Actually, one son became the king, and the younger brothers were all ministers. And one particularly was, I forget whether he was the foreign minister or this minister or that minister, but he, he was the smart guy. He was sharp as a tack. And so he had, he was running so much stuff. And all the diplomats, when they would come to Saudi Arabia, they would head to his home and get all the updates on everything and they would talk about so many diplomatic issues and so on. But then when they were in court, the younger brother wouldn't say anything. Although his, he was the person who was really running so much of it, he would just stay mum, because he was in the presence of the king, his elder brother. And even among the uh, lectures, this uh, culture is recognized. So, uh, what is that? Deva Dvija Guru Pragya Pujan in the Bhagavad Gita. Austerity in, of, in the mode of goodness in relation to the body means to worship the Lord, Deva, and Dvija, the uh, Brahman is twice born, Guru, the spiritual master, and Pragya, superior persons the father, the mother, the grandfather. Therefore, Bhishma is so respected by everyone because he's the grandfather of everyone um, by being the, the elder brother, he becomes the grandfather. And so much respect. So therefore, before the battle of Kurukshetra, when the battle was about to begin, Arjun shot an arrow at the feet of Drona Charja, because Guru, superior person, offering obeisances with the arrow. And Drona Charja shot an arrow back, touching his head. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have my blessings to fight against me. Mm -hmm. It's said, I think, in the text that had he not done this, the, he would have lost the war. And we see the opposite, uh, that uh, Duryodhana is, is always speaking harshly to Dronacharya, to Bhishma Dev, if you're not fighting, you're being lenient to Pandavas, speaking harshly. Whereas Arjun is offering respects to his superiors. Uh, this is wanted. The Guru, and it said, even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that, who was that that came to Puri? Um, Paramananda? No, Ramchandra, that also, but Ramchandra is somebody. Ramchandra Puri? Ramchandra Puri, yeah. Who was criticizing, you're eating too much, you're keeping sweets hidden, the ants are the evidence, um, you're, you're just... Uh, in, in the guise of the, of the renounced order, you're enjoying your senses. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu cut his eating. Guru Buddha, considering him to be his guru. 
because Ramchandra Puri was the godbrother of Ishwara Puri, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's brother, a uh, spiritual master. So the godbrother of the spiritual master is considered on the level of the spiritual master. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is offering him respect, uh, like uh, as one would to, as he would have to his own guru. Guru Bhutya, thinking, yes, he's, he's guru. Uh, and then, of course, finally, Ramchandra Puri left, and all the devotees were happy. <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu resumed his eating. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu respected him in that way. Pariksit Maharaj asked Shukadeva Goswami at the beginning of the tenth canto, how is it that Krishna killed Kamsa, who was his uncle? Hmm? What is that? Pratyotsyami uh, Pujara Varisudana. What is the thing? Yotsyami. Pratyotsyami Pujara Varisudana. Tatam Bhishma Mahang Sankhye Dronam Cha Marasudana. It should be Pratyotsyami. How can I oppose in battle such persons as uh, Bhishma Dev, my grandfather, Drona Charja, my guru, Tatam Bhishma Maham Sankhe Dronam Chandras? Ishu B, how can I shoot arrows at them? Pratiyotyami. Pujarhava, they're deserving of my puja, my worship. I should be worshipping Bhishma and Drona, not offering them arrows, flowers, not arrows. How is it possible? How is it possible that killed, Krishna killed Kamsa, who is his elder brother, his, uh, the, the brother of his father? These were the uh, brother of his sister, sorry. Uh, these are the uh, considerations. In the Western culture we get all flustered. How can you they offer respect like this to the guru, touching his feet, offering him his flowers. This is just so cultish. But in the Vedic culture, that's how you treat a superior, a senior. The, the, you touch the feet of your parents, you touch the feet of your uncles, aunts, offering respect. And, and what to speak of, because they're all finally uh, Arajya Bhagavan, the worshipable person is Krishna Bhagavan. But then these persons are all representatives of Bhagavan. The, the mother, the father, the guru, the seniors. When Sanatana Goswami was skipping out on his service to Nawab Hussain Shah on the excuse of being sick, the Hussain Shah sent his men and they reported, no, he's not sick, he's reading Bhagavatam with, his, with the Brahmins. So Hussain Shah himself came. What's going on here? And it's described that when he entered the assembly, all the Brahmins stood up for this mulecha, because he was the king. So the Brahmins were respectful to the king. Of course, really, the, the um, Kshatriyas are, are to be more respectful to the uh, Brahmins. Therefore, when Prabhupada was received at Switzerland, not Zurich, Geneva. At Geneva, he was received at City Hall by the mayor. And it was explained, or before the mayor walked in, that, that the uh, mayor, uh, that the, the etiquette is uh, that, you know, this was either Paris, no, maybe it was Paris, actually. 
Paris, right? Yeah. In Paris, the etiquette is, because the French are, you know, the, the etiquette is that the, the mayor will come in and then you stand up and then there's this and that protocols. Uh, if you meet the queen, they explain the protocols, you call her ma'am, and you know, like that. Um, all quite scripted. So the mayor came in and Prabhupada remained seated. <laughs> And the, the mayor is waiting, and he's, you know, he has a welcome address to give, but, you know, the protocols are to be observed. Oh, but remains seated. Why should I rise for him? I'm the Brahmin, sannyasi. Why should I? <laughs> Elsewhere we find in the meeting of Swayambhuva Manu and Kardamuni, how there's an the exchange of respectful uh, greetings. The Kardamuni is superior, but Vaivashata Manu is not uh, insignificant. And so suitable praises are offered to Kardamuni, suitable praises are offered to the uh, to Manu. Amanina Manadena. The whole Vedic culture is a culture of offering respect. And the respect travels upward. The, in, the junior respects the senior. And actually that respect is meant to be transferred all the way back to Krishna. The Guru doesn't think, yes, they're all respecting me. Because after all, I'm benefiting all of them. Then I'm the servant of my spiritual master, the respect is meant for my Guru Maharaj. And I know he transfers it up and up and up. Finally he comes to Krishna. And the duty of the superior is to give blessings to the juniors. The this was the reciprocation that the the respect goes up and blessings come down. So the, the disciple offers respect to the spiritual master, the spiritual master offers blessings to the disciple. The blessings of the, 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 the son or daughter offers respect to the parents, the parents offer blessings to the sons and daughters. And that, that, those blessings ultimately come from Krishna. Before Kurukshetra, uh, Jirarashtra, Jirarashtra, Duryodhana approached Gantari, uh, please give your blessings. I'm, now I'm heading off to the war. But she refused. Uh, that everyone, all the soldiers are my sons. Uh, you are my son, your brothers are my sons. But um, Bhim, Yudhisthir, Arjun, Nakul Sahadev, they are my sons also. Because sons of Pandu. And practically the Pandavas were uh, raised under the protection of Dhritarashtra and Kuntari. Maybe the protection wasn't quite what it was supposed to be. But Gandhari maintained that spirit of being um, motherly toward the Pandavas also. So she refused, that no blessings, you'll have to. If you insist on fighting, you'll have to fight on your own strength. But these blessings, even Prabhupada, when he would give initiation, sometimes he would um, request, if he was giving sannyas, especially I think, I seem to recall, or initiation, he would sometimes say, now all Vaishnavas give your blessings. Mm -hmm. You all Vaishnavas give your blessings. Mm -hmm. So, in the Vedic culture, this is not just a formality that you, um, you know, 
please accept my humble obeisance. You have a little macro in it. Uh, you know, the key in it. Keys it in. But actually, and of course, all right, this is a, when we write these things, sometimes that's what we do. But beyond that, um, these things are meant to be um, assimilated and actually felt that I'm the, the servant of the Vaishnavas. Uh, and then again, the uh, disciple, please accept my humble obeisances to the spiritual master, to the uh, other Vaishnavas. But the spiritual master doesn't write, please accept my obeisances, please accept my blessings. Reciprocation, according to seniority. Even at one time, we're in New Vrindavan, and there was this famous uh, Bhagavad Dharma discourses, and Prabhupada was there for Janmashtami and Vyas Puja. And for the Vyas Puja, he directed that, that everyone could come and offer flowers, offer dandavats. He said, starting from the sannyasis, then by seniority. He didn't say temple presidents, GBC, starting by seniority, because that's also counted. Uh, who was initiated first? So he's my senior. Prabhupada uh, recognized or, or endorsed that uh, traditional understanding. An elder brother is respected, even a little elder, still respected. So all of these intricacies are observed by a culture per, cultured person, um, partly as a matter of social etiquette, and also as a matter of, of sincere uh, mm, feeling, or just it's integral to the cultured person. He, he, these cultural norms or, or etiquettes are observed as outward signs of an in, inward understanding of an in inward understanding. This person is my superior. This person is my junior. And then the reciprocation is, takes place in the, what would you say, natural channel. That it's not an, an awkward thing where the, the Junior is treating the senior like an equal or inferior. When things are in the proper position, then the respects go up, the blessings come down, and there's proper uh, exchanges among the members of human society. Even the animal society, they have this. That this is observed by the zoologists, that the animals also have seniority among them. They recognize who's the leader, who's the... Who's that. So this is a feature of Vaishnav culture. And Lord Krishna, as the leader of human society, observed all these principles perfectly. Okay, what comments or questions? Panchat Napu. I was just thinking that there are so many varieties of cultures mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And the systems of respect can be very different mm -hmm. between one and another. Mm -hmm. There are cultures in which uh, the, the women are respected in much greater degree than the men in, in a variety of ways. And even in India, there are some matriarchal cultures and there are patriarchal cultures. Well, even apart from matriarchal, patriarchal, thank you for bringing it up. Yatra naryastu pujante ramante tatra devata. Where women are worshipped, there the demigods enjoy. Uh, the, Pujante, they're not for exploitation, they're to be honored. Go ahead. So, 
is there, I mean, there is, in modern society, there's this idea that, that uh, you know, various cultures exist and each one is legitimate, you know, you respect the culture that you're in and you don't try to, uh, the, the, we've been criticized actually for cultural appropriation. Mm. That uh, you know, you you you're an American, you know, and you're trying to be an Indian. And so, Cult you, you're objecting to cultural appropriation. You wouldn't object to economic appropriation. If we if we suck some money out of India or extract or gain some money out of India, you wouldn't have a problem with that. So if we take some uh, knowledge or culture, what is the problem? Uh, rather, that's just a feature uh, of uh, intelligence, or, or a good feature. It's, if some, something is valuable, whether it's behavior or it's uh, language, we borrow, like we, we appropriate words from all sorts of countries and cultures, what's the harm? Uh, you, you're, you're against appropriate, what are you for, Ins insularity? And, and arrogance, we have the best culture and therefore we don't take anything from anyone else. Because nothing could be better than American culture. Just see our president, what a cultured person he is. <laughs> and therefore, um, you know, what is that? If we see something, um, what is that? If there's poison, uh, nectar and a, a pitcher of poison, take the nectar. If there's that, gold in a filthy place, take the gold. That, that brings me to my real question, though, mm -hmm. is that if we look at cultures around the world, then we find, in, you know, we do find good, what appear to be good aspects of cultures that are different from... We can pick those up. Yeah. If there's, suppose in some country they respect superiors in a particular way. So we can follow that. Yes, you're the superior, so we respect you this way, whatever particular formality is. Because we, we understand the principle that it is superior is to be respected, or that everyone is to be respected, So if something fits with, with Vedic culture, with our values, with our, our principles, then we, we don't mind that it's expressed in a different way, in a different part of the world, or a different, a different country, a different culture. We appreciate that. Rather, a Vedic person with Vedic education or Vedic culture can see, yes, this is what they're doing. I, this is uh, a Vedic principle expressed in a different form, maybe rudimentary form, or it may simply be a different form, but he can see it. A person's uncultured, what are they doing? I mean, like touching someone's feet, like uh, permission, taking permission to go. Kid walks out of that, bye. <laughs> and he leaves home for like, just takes off somewhere, doesn't even bother to tell anyone. Right? He's gone for four years, ten years. Yeah, Krishna is only going to Dwarka, isn't he? He's taking permission. So, uh, yeah, so we can pick it up, something good. And even uh, in American culture, the values that are being lost, at least we can uh, respect those that are, the, that are consistent with Vedic culture, but are being lost. We can stick with and the ones that are replacing them, we don't have to um, go on with. I, I happened to read a... Um, Margaret Thatcher appeared on William Buckley's Firing Line uh, program, and there was some usual interview discussion. And afterwards he wrote a letter to her and said, Dear Mrs. Thatcher, uh, I realized reviewing the, t the, the tape or something that I had ad addressed you as Margaret. So I, I wanted to apologize 
for that. You know, it should have been Mrs. Thatcher. And uh, because he's a cultured person, I mean, whatever, you know, other things, but that culture was there, that she's a, uh, first of all, a, a lady not related to me, and second of all, she's um, either, I think she was the Prime Minister, Prime Minister. by then. Uh, so I should have addressed her as Mrs. Th Thatcher, Margaret, I mean, how could I have done that? Um, she said, that's all right, you can call me Margaret or Maggie, I forget which she said. Uh, she said, uh, Recipro reciprocity is assumed. <laughs> so that's a, a principle among the, uh, even you can, Prabhupada said one time, the sign of a Krishna conscious person, more than one time, is that he's a perfect gentleman. Yeah, everybody can see who's rude and who's uh, cultured, who's, who's gentle or, or respectable, respectful. Yeah, maybe differently expressed in different times, different places, but anyone can see who's rude, who's boorish, who's crude, and who's refined, who's... The Prophet said the sign of a Krishna conscious person is that he's a perfect gentleman, as we saw with Prabhupada. Okay. That's something else? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is another side to this, which is the power equation. Mm -hmm. That uh, I, I, I remember reading a, a book on, this was called Being Indian. <laughs> Being Indian? Being Indian. Mm -hmm. By an Indian uh, gentleman who is a sociologist. And he was describing you know, various characteristics of Indian culture. Mm. And the one, one phrase that he, he, he uh, wrote that stuck in me was that uh, the I Indian in general is extraordinarily sensitive to the calculus of power. Mm -hmm. So in terms of relationships. Mm -hmm. So being very deferential to someone who's senior mm -hmm. and being, you, you mentioned blessings mm -hmm. going down, right? But that idea of having the power to bless, yeah. so to speak, having the power to, to facilitate or whatever to those who are junior and to be able to switch at a moment's, you know, like right. that. You know, that, yeah. that that, that, that's I also, walk into, uh, you know, I'm in this position, as soon as someone comes in, who's in a, they're sized up immediately, and I adjust. <laughs> I think I read the same passage, and, it, and it's true. Blessings, we think of blessings as the blessings of God, and so on and so on. But in, in a context like that, the blessings are, um, you know, favors. Yeah. That you can, I'll help you with your contract. Or, your uh, the opposite too, or right? you know, there's yeah, I can I can mess you up, so you better be nice to me. But um, definitely, that sense is there of um, quickly seeing who's in a superior position, who's in a, a junior position, and, and knowing how to act. There was a another example from Saudi Arabia. There was a gentleman. I think his name was Kasogi. Uh, who um, was asked by the king to do something, to help with a, a petroleum deal, if I remember. And uh, he did it competently, worked it all out. And then the king went to reward him. He said, no, I, I did this for my king. I can't take any reward, I did this for my king. So whatever sincerity or insincerity may have been there, uh, that's what he said. And thereafter, he was the go-to guy for all the uh, things that needed to be done. He became fantastically powerful and, and uh, prosperous. Uh, so there, there is a sort of a selfish sense among those who are not pure devotees of, well, what can I get from this person? What, this, what can this person do for me? And it, it's mixed with this sense of, of, um, of duty to, to treat um, superior pe people in a particular way. 
I'll just, I can tell you another story, though. This was told to me by Nath Ji Prabhu. Um, he was relating a story, of course, you know, he came from a, uh, an important business family. And his father was a, quite an important man. And his father told him a story, which he told me, that there was an elephant who was taking pleasure in stomping on ants. The ants would, you know, travel and file as they usually would, and the elephant would take pleasure in just stomping on them. So then the ants had a meeting, and they said, the, this elephant is exterminating us. He's just wiping us out. What are we going to do? And one ant said, don't worry, I'll do something. So at night, while the elephant was sleeping, that ant crawled into the elephant's ear. And by moving around in the elephant's ear, you know what it's, how irritating and it is. He's moving around, moving around, moving around in the elephant's ear. He drove the elephant mad. He drove the elephant mad. You know, mad elephants have to be put down or whatever. So the Shri Nathri's father said, you know, uh, never uh, fail to respect even the small people. You never know. I can tell one more story. Uh, this is, of course, also not a Bhagavatam story, but it's a cultural story. Um, Used all of a sudden. Our devotee in, in Bombay who started the hospital? Uh, well, there's uh, Rishikesha, uh, uh, Krish, Krish, yeah, Krishna Chandra. Krishna Chandra. Krishna Chandra is who I was thinking of, just his name disappeared from him. He, after the hospital was built, there were so many donors and you know, friends of his who donated, big people in Bombay, and they held a, an event, a little reception at the hospital for them, uh, um, some speeches by various uh, parties, appreciation, and so on. And then they had a marvelous prasadam for them, you know, all uh, those, you know, steel uh, warmers and so on, serving things. And so well, all these big men were sitting there and they're hearing the talks and then they they go for prasadam and one man said to Krishna Chandra uh, could I get some could I get some prasadam some food for my driver and Krishna Chandra said oh the drivers have already been fed all the drivers have been given the same prasadam as the big man. While the talks were going on, all the drivers. Because he thought that the drivers are important also, and, you know, love me, love my dog. If you serve the servant of the king, the king becomes satisfied. All the drivers were fed. So, it'd be just as easy to forget and say, you know, I invited these big men, and you know, what's a driver? But he took into account that all the drivers were taken care of. At the Rajasuya sacrifice, well, everybody gets charity, even the Sudras get something. So, Amani na Amani de na Kirtani I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be practical for us, but. If you, I'm sure you've been at Dr. Gopinath Mandir for Prashadam. I don't know if I have. So, <clears throat> their system is that, and I think that this is practiced in many Gaudiya Mats, is that no one eats until everyone is served. 
Mm -hmm. So there's 50 devotees, right, sitting there, and they're serving prasadam, and the the leader, uh, Krishna, I think it's Krishna Das, the pundit, the pur with the uh, head priest. Lord. What's his name? Krishna Das. Hmm? Krishna Das. Yeah. So we, we chant Sarira Vijayal, right? Mm. He's, so he chants this, and then he starts keeping chanting, and he chants this one jai, this one jai, this one jai, 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 keeps on the chanting, keeps on going and going and going and going till everyone is served, and then he stops. Yeah. And, and, and Radha Gopinath Mandir and Chopati follow the same system. And it's also the etiquette, until the senior person gets up, no one else gets up? Yes, that's it. Yeah, or, or else... You, you sit, you take permission. Take permission. May I, may I. Yeah. There's all these little things, you know, that, uh, you know, where you put your feet, mm -hmm. you know, where you put things. Respect, this whole culture of respect. Even, you don't put something on a book. You know, like a book is a place you could put your card files on top of the book, but you don't do that because the book represents Sarashwati. Were you there in, in uh, Henry Street? Is stuck, this is stuck with me for, forever. That um, Srila Prabhupada was speaking. <coughs> Bali Mardan was there. And I think he was, either he was reading the book, reading the passage or whatever, so he laid his chudder in front of him and he put <coughs> the Bhagavatam on the chudder. But the chudder was at the same level as, as him. I mean, he's, mm. so, so he's basically putting the Bhagavatam at the same level as he's sitting. And Prabhupada looked and pointed it out and said, no, lift it up. You can't, you know, this is, you must respect the Bhagavatam. Over everything, you respect mm. the Bhagavatam. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you see, you know, they give a seat to the speaker, and then there's a place for the Bhagavatam, and the Bhagavatam is like a little lower. A little lower, yeah. It's just wrong. Yeah. Bhagavatam, in fact, it's like in many places, the system that before you even open the book, first they, you offer puja to the yeah. book. Flowers and so, on. so much respect. What is it? Narayana Namaskriti Naram Chandram. Before speaking, to respect the spirit. So many. Prabhupada one time said, I want all my disciples to spend some time in India and become cultured. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that a question, or is that just a... Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yes, no Um Are we offending by sitting in a chair, this kind of same level? No, that's also a principle. Old men have to be respected. Mm -hmm. uh, here's one, though, Maharaj, that, that, that we get into difficulty. I do, at least. I, I want to offer my obeisances to my senior devotees, senior you know, god brothers, and especially the Sindhasas, and then they, but they don't want me to do so because then they feel they have to then offer. So sometimes I find myself kind of behaving in a way that acknowledges that, okay, we're god brothers. Mm. So I, you know, I, I want to give you more respect, but I don't want to put inconvenience you by making that's also, you feel like you have to reciprocate, and so... Yeah, that's also... That? <laughs> you have to negotiate it or, or find your way Sometimes I, I try to do it in a distance so they don't see me. So. That's also... That's also sometimes done. It's some, but we find, for example, among our generation that there's a lot of... Um, hugging in front instead of obeisance yes, just yeah. because out of recognition that if I bow down, this old man is going to have to bow down also. <laughs> yeah. so, that's, so that's a sort of subtle um, appreciation and refinement of, of culture that's not just according to the, to the rules, but it's also in consideration of the in individual person. Uh, maybe this person has arthritis, if I bow down to him, he's going to, you know, putting him through torture, he's going to feel obliged to respond. All of those things. The, sometimes you, you find the people, you know, you're walking someplace and they, they, they want to offer obeisances right in front of you and, and it's like, 
a little less, you know, sensitivity is there that I'm getting, I'm basically blocking this person. And what? I'm going to get blessings? So these are some of the subtleties. Or I, I gave, anyway, there's sort of no end to to things that we could point out about. I, I think the point here is that, that it's the values that underline yeah. these, this culture. It's not the, the, the superficial, it's the, the value. And that we are very conscious of, of what values we're trying to, to yeah. Uh, yeah. express. The, the formalities express the values, so the formalities are not... Um, in fact, one time, there was some... Srila Narayan Raj was asked about some some ceremony, I forget what, something, I'm not, not remembering exactly, giving sannyas or something. Maybe it was giving sannyas, the sannya position of the sannyas guru. And someone said, isn't that just a formality? He's the sannyas guru. And Maharaj said, in, in Vaishnav culture, nothing is just a formality. So the formalities all have significance, they all have meaning. But as you said, the values are even more important than the, than the, than the formalities. Even, um, you know, I mean, if you don't have the values, please accept my humble obeisances. <laughs> you know, clearly that means you don't, <laughs> don't value the person. So, um, it, it's finally... If you dare. <laughs> yeah, if you dare. So it's 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 the 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 values, it's the heart, it's the understanding, it's all of these things. Amanini Amanina Amanina Kirtani Sarahani. So maybe out of respect for you all I should stop here and get into the Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, glorious to you.